approximately one in five people will have seen or have seen or sought out to see a psychic in their lifetime. Even more interesting than that, one in three people uh, claim to have had a psychic experience in their lives. Um, I want to say I'm still new to the software, so be patient with me. Hello, I am the Optimist. I'm a psychic educator, card reader, and coach. And uh, this lesson today is just a lesson on the Fool's Journey, which is the first 22 cards of the of a tarot deck. And we're going to talk a little bit about that today. So, if you would, um, the first little part of this presentation. This is the Fool's Journey 22 Lessons Through Life. Now, the first part of any tarot deck is called the Major Arcana, and that is the first 22 cards. And Arcana is kind of an arcane word for secrets. Uh, arcane just me, or Arcana means secrets. And when we refer to the Major Arcana, we're referring to the first 22 cards of a tarot card deck. And those 22 cards are symbolic of major life lessons. They kind of uh, illustrate the things that we go through uh, in life. They are archetypal. So it's like the lessons and the things that we're going through are lessons that we all go through as part of humans developing uh, and going through life. These cards are the keys to spiritual growth and personal development uh, and spiritual growth and development. And for this class, because um, we're going to have a little segment that kind of gives you an overview of parts one, two, and three, and then this class will be part one of the journey. But it's divided into three parts, and the first part is the foundation, or the physical plane, and then we have the mentality, or the mental plane, and then we have spirituality, or the spiritual plane. And we're going to organize all of that together. The Fool's Journey is organized in such a way uh, that is called the Grand Tableau. And as you can see, we have the Fool at the top, and then we have three rows of, of cards. And those, as we were kind of talking about before with parts one, two, and three with the foundation, uh, the mentality and the spirituality, this gives a visual representation of that. So the first row is going to be part one, part two is the second row, and part three is the bottom row uh, on, the, on the bottom there. But part one, part one is, uh, these are going to be cards zero through seven, and that includes the fool, and then left to right, the magician, the high priestess, the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, the lovers, and the chariot. And again, these all kind of give us our foundation of the journey. Those give us uh, the physical elements that we need as we progress through the fool's journey. Part two is going to have the second row of cards, which includes cards 8 through 14, and that includes Strength, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, and Temperance. And this row represents Mentality, or the Mental Plane. And then the last row that we're going to talk about uh, in the part three, which we won't make that to today, is going to cover cards 15 through 21. And those uh, make up the spiritual plane. And these energies left to right again are the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. And so that kind of gives us an idea of parts one, two, and three. So. For now, because today we're going to talk about the part one of the journey, now would be the time for you to pop out your journal and uh, yeah, and write down at the top of a fresh page the date and time. And then on the next video, we're going to jump right into the um, into the part one of the journey, but this is just kind of an overview of where the next few videos are going to take us. I haven't decided if I'm going to do one video per card and have several shorter videos, or if I just want to do one longer one and have you pause it, but we'll see how that goes anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye now.